by the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah, even the darkest night will end, and the sun will rise and shine, and the sun will rise and shine, by the grace of Allah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya'i wa al-Mursaleen Amma ba'd Fa'a'udhu billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim Bismillahi Rahman al-Rahim Wa salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah Wa salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiya Allah Wa ala alika wa ashabika Ya Noor Allah My dear viewers of Madani channel Welcome back to our morning show Our morning program It goes by the name of Rise and Shine Alhamdulillah Today my dear viewers We are coming close to the end of our week Our weekdays It is Thursday today Now Thursday is also a blessed day Now remember my dear viewers The Islamic day begins from the night, we first have the night is when after Maghrib, when the day begins, my dear viewers of Madani channel, up until the next Maghrib time, up until sunset the next day, which means that tonight, inshallah, when Maghrib time comes, my dear viewers of Madani channel, we shall have the Yom al Jumu'ah occurring, which is also known to many or the night between Thursday and Friday as you would generally say Jumu'arat Madhi viewers of Madhi Shal this is a extremely blessed night and the blessings of Jumu'ah also manifest on this night so we should make the most of not only this morning Thursday morning but also Thursday night Madhi viewers let's begin our day by listening as we usually do to the beautiful verses of the glorious Qur'an. Now remember whenever the Qur'an is being recited, it is your duty to give your full attention to the Qur'an, to the recitation of the Qur'an, to listen carefully. And if there's anything else you may be doing, just pause for a moment in order to give your full attention to the glorious Quran. Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu taala ala Muhammad, sallallahu taala alihi wa ala alihi wasallam. A'udhu billahi min al Shaytan al Rajeem. Bismillah. Oh, 
فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ مَنْ فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْضُ بِالدِّينِ أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين آمنت بالله صدق الله العظيم صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. My dear was alhamdulillah, you are watching Rise and Shine. Now we have listened to the Quran, but please also make it a habit of yours, a practice of yours to regularly recite the glorious Quran each and every single day. Make it part of your plan, part of your schedule to recite the glorious Quran. You know, it's said that we have times for everything. We have times to wake up, we have time for breakfast, breakfast time, there's dinner time, lunch time, there's supper time, same thing, dinner, supper, whatever it may be. There's time, there's school time, there's gym time, exercise time, whatever it may be. We are living in a world where we evolve around a schedule. We have times for everything. But my dear viewers, what we need to ask ourselves is, this schedule that we have, these times that we have, within them, is there a Qur'an time? If there is not, then we must add it. We must recite the Qur'an regularly. We must recite the Qur'an each and every single day. Now, to introduce our topic, inshallah, today, we shall be speaking about endeavor about strife, about working hard, my dear viewers of Mother Inshallah, not giving up, always trying, working very, very hard. Why? Because endeavor is key. Endeavor is the key to success. My dear viewers of Mother Inshallah, let's listen to the Naad Sharif and then we shall come to our topic. Sallu alal habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam Salli ala nabina Salli ala nabina Salli ala muhammadin Salli ala shafi و 
وصفے ہوئے گا جواب نام ہوا مصطفیٰ تم پہ کروڑوں درود ذات بھی محمد صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وعلا آلہ وسلم الحمدللہ عز و جل مرے ویوز اف مدنی چینل یو آر وچنگ رائز ان شان افتر لسن تو دو قرآن اندر نال شریف وی شال بی سپیکن ای لیٹل ان ای ٹاپک وی شال بی فالوڈ بائی دی دیلی ریمائنڈ ای دیلی حدیث شریف اندر انشاءاللہ عز و جل وی شال آلسو ہاو آور لاست ان فائنل سیگمن فرم آور ریسپیکٹ تو بریز بائی وٹ ایز this is a look at society society in this day and age nowadays yes before too but now even more we are suffering from diseases i don't just refer to you know diseases as is as in physical diseases physical illness you know everybody's afraid nowadays is a coronavirus no my dear viewers i'm referring to spiritual diseases I'm referring to the disease of not understanding and acting upon our religion. Diseases such like backbiting, yes, these are diseases. Diseases such as pride, my dear viewers, arrogance, self-admiration, extravagance. This is what I mean by diseases. Love for the world, my dear viewers, upon the channel. So Alhamdulillahi Azza wa Jal, our respected Mubalik shall be teaching us about one problem in our society and inshallah Azza wa Jal, how to get the better of such a problem. My dear viewers, Alhamdulillahi Azza wa Jal, each and every single day on Rise and Shine, we have a topic which we speak about. Now, today's topic for Rise and Shine is endeavor, striving, working hard. It's said that only once you work hard can you truly gain success. Even, let's, just, let's take a look at worldly things. Generally, even in worldly things, my dear viewers of Madani Channel, you will see, take an example of ourselves. Let's take an example of ourselves when we were in school, when we were kids. How, did, how were we brought up? What was our mindset as we were growing, my dear viewers? Now, there'll be a variety, you know, a huge 
you could have volumes of, you know, everybody thinks differently. Everybody has their own mindset. So when we were growing up, when we were going to school, what did we used to think about? There'll be some of us who were, yes, interested in reading. There'll be some of us who we only wish to just watch the latest movie and we were just bothered about the actors, we were just bothered about music, about singers, about rappers, or, you know, we wish to be like such and such celebrity, where this celebrity dresses like this, so you know, I'm going to buy this jumper also, I'm going to buy these shoes also, I'm going to buy these particular trainers also, you know, and even, with girls, they would look at celebrity women and they would think, you know, her hair color is like this, she has her, whatever it may be, my dear viewers. And we wish to imitate such people. And sometimes we even try to act like such people. There were others who were possibly bigger, maybe stronger, and they wished to pull their weight around to push others to harm others. They would always fight in school. There were some who were just not interested. But my dear viewers, there were also, always there were, there were those who always did what they needed to do. There were those who would always work hard, although they were so intelligent, and sometimes we would think as we were growing up, that you know maybe high school, maybe university, whatever it may have been, we would think that, oh, you're so clever, you don't even need to work so hard. Why are you trying so hard for? It's, you know, it's only this exam, and look at you, 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 you're working so much. And then we realize later that those people who put in the effort, and if we are from amongst them, if we had put our effort in at that time, this is just worldly example, this is an example of studies, then it was those people who became ulama, scholars. It was those people who became doctors, it was those people who became barristers or whatever it may have been. You know, those things which we consider to be good in this day and age. And my dear viewers of Madani Channel, even if we were to look at monetarily in terms of business, we see that there are some people who, they don't try. Sometimes even their parents gave them businesses and they didn't really try. And their businesses shut down. They were at a loss, whereas there were some people who were working inside their garage. They hardly slept at night, day and night they would be working and thinking of ideas, trying to become successful, thinking what we can make. And now they have made huge companies, huge empires. They, they have really become successful in the world, my dear viewers. But Today's lesson is not that sort of success because if there's anything, if you have the entire world but you don't have Iman, then this is not success and this is what we must understand. That there may have been some people who yes, they try and they work so hard, but such people, you may think, what are they working for? They are going to go into their graves, we are going to go into our graves. Inshallah, if we have Iman, then we are better. But if we do not have Iman when we go into our graves, then they are better than us. It could be you have both. It could be you are successful and you have Iman. Then subhanAllah, these are the blessings which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon you in this world and the Akhirah. But a general rule, a general maxim, is that you can never become successful until you try. There was a person who, he came to a man and this, this person was a successful person, he was a successful businessman. And again, I'm giving the example of business because so many people, this is the things which affects them. You know, when you talk about business and immediately people's eyes open. Now this person, my dear viewers, there was another very, very poor person. A person who's just come off the street but now has changed his mind that I wish to be successful, I wish to be rich. And this person, he comes to him and he says, you know, I want to be successful, I want to be like you. You know, you have everything. I want to be like this, I wish to be like this. The person says, do you really want to be like this? 
He says, yes, I wish to be like this. And that person, he says, that okay then. After, you know, on such and such day, come meet me. Meet me by the riverside. Meet me by the ocean. Let's meet me by the ocean, the seaside, and I will tell you the key to success. That person, he's excited, he's waiting for that day to come. One day is past, two days, three days. That's it, now is the day, I'm going to go. He dresses, you know, as tidy, as smart as possible. You know, he brings a briefcase with him to look all brilliant, to look all successful, my dear viewers. And then he goes and meets this person. And when he meets this person, that person himself is not dressed normally, he's dressed in, his clothes are not good, he's dressed in messed up clothes, my dear viewers. And this place, and that person, he goes and he walks into the sea. He's knee deep in the sea, my dear viewers. He says, come here. That person thinking, look at the clothes I'm wearing, you want me to go into there? Why do you want me to go into there? He says, you want to be successful? Come into here. And this person, he says, okay, he rolls up his trousers and then he go into the sea. And then he says, come on, let's go further. Let's go further. Like, how, how far do you expect me to go? He says, come, let's go further. And then when they are so high that the water reaches their chest, he takes hold of this person's head and he places his head under the water. And that person, he's shouting, he's screaming, he's drowning, my dear viewers. And he has his head under the water and he holds his head there. And then he raises his head. That person, he takes a huge, <gasps> huge breath. And then again, he places his head under the water. He holds it there and then he raises his head and he says to him, do you wish to be successful? Do you wish to be successful? He says you will only be successful when you wish to have it and you strive to have it and you give your entire effort, you spend your entire effort just the way you wish to breathe whilst you were underwater. Where you don't care about anything else other than to gain your breath, to gain success if you wish to be successful. This is how hard you must try. You must want it this much. And my dear viewers of Madhani Channel, you know, a lot of the worldly examples to aside, we have been told that Salah, is the key to success. Every single day the adhan is given. The call to prayer is given every single day. The mu'adhin, the caller, he is calling out, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. He is reciting the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And then he says, Hayya ala salah. Come, rush towards salah. Hayya ala salah, rush towards salah. And then, Hayya ala falah. Rush towards success. Hayya ala falah. Come towards success. So the mu'adhin, is calling us five times a day to come towards prayer, come towards success. If you wish to gain success, then it is in prayer. And how would the people pray, my dear viewers? This is the Imam Azam Abu Hanifa, anhu, he would recite the entire Quran. He was one of those people, it's mentioned there were four people. This is the Imam Azam Abu Hanifa who was one of those four who would recite the entire Quran in a rak'at, my dear viewers of Madani Channel. This was their strife, this was their, the difficulty they went through. And then who did they become? 
They became such people that sometimes, yes, we think success, whenever we think of success, we think of money. And this is why I was giving these, these examples of money, my dear viewers. But success is not money. No. True success is first Iman. If you are to die and you are to die with Iman, this is true success. You are truly a successful person. And if you were to have the entire world, if you were to have the entire world, but you did not have Iman, you died without Iman, you can never be a successful person. Today, my dear viewers of Mandan Shah, we are speaking about endeavor, working hard, striving, how this is the key to success. Let's first listen to our daily reminder, and then inshallah, we shall hear a little more on this topic. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam By the grace of Allah By the grace of Allah My dear viewers of Mundi Channel In today's society we have an epidemic meaning we have a problem and that is our youngsters and our elders are not respecting one another. Within our own culture, we have a big problem. Mother swearing at children, children swearing at parents, brother swearing at sister, sister swearing at brother, not respecting one another. Swearing in itself is haram. But swearing in family is worse. I'm sure that's worse. And I know you know that's worse. We need to love and respect one another as much as possible. Your father goes out to work. He earns money through four for you. And then when you're older, do you swear at him? It's not right. It's unethical what we do. Like if we do things like this, it is unethical and we need to change. Because remember, if your father is upset with you, then Allah Azza wa Jalla is also upset with you. If your mother and father are happy with you, then Allah Azza wa Jalla is happy with you. We must not upset anybody, especially our family. At the end of the day, your friends will desert you. Everybody will desert you. Your acquaintance will desert you. Your colleagues will desert you. Only your parents will stick with you and your brothers and sisters will stick with you. So by you swearing at them, it's not making good habits and it is not helping you to make good relationship with your family. We need that relationship desperately. 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 Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah By the grace of Allah Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam My dear viewers of Mandan Inshallah Alhamdulillah That was our daily reminder to remind you There are so many things you are forgetting about You are a Muslim There are so many actions you must be performing There are so many things you must be refraining from As humans we keep forgetting But Alhamdulillah This serves as a reminder If you didn't pray your salah You should pray your salah If you didn't give your zakat Give your zakat if you didn't fast, you should fast. It reminds you to perform good actions. And a reminder to refrain from bad actions. My dear viewers of Madhani Shal, Alhamdulillah, today we are speaking about striving. Today we are speaking about working hard. And a beautiful example is that of Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu ta'ala anhu. 
It's such a person. In fact, there's so many examples, but this is again, it's a monetary example. It's just come to my mind, Allahu Akbar. Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf, I mentioned the name, now we must speak about the many viewers. Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf, that individual, he was from amongst the Muhajirun. Those people who migrated from Makkah al Mukarramah to Al Madinat al Munawwara. And when he migrated to Al Madinat al Munawwara, he had nothing. The Muslims they left everything in Makkah al Mukarramah. They had no wealth, they had nothing. They've come to a foreign land. When he migrated, then Rasulullah had taken the Muhajirun and he had partnered them with the Ansar, those people who were, who were already residents of Al-Madinat al munawwara And he made them brothers, my dear viewers, in order for this being, you know, being a foreigner, this strangeness in order to remove this, for them to feel at home there in Al-Madinat al munawwara And Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf that person, his akhi, his, his brother, his akh, my dear viewers, his brother, he says to him and he offers him, he says that I have so many wives, you choose whichever one you wish, I shall divorce, I shall give it to you. I have so many properties, I have two houses, you can choose whichever one you want, I will give that to you. I have these gardens, farms you can say, Choose whichever one you wish, I will give it to you. Half of everything which I own is yours. Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf who firstly, wow, wow, my dear viewers, somebody has spent his life earning and he's ready to give it. This is because he's ready to give it in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what Muslims are, my dear viewers, where they love for their brothers what they love for themselves. Nevertheless, Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf who you know, he must have been, wow, you know, this, all this, free house, free farm, everything you're giving me. But my dear viewers, he prays for him, he says, just, I just wish for one thing from you. Just show me where the marketplace is and I'll do everything myself. That person, he says, he is a marketplace. And then Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf, who he would go to the marketplace. He was a person who had nothing. We hear stories, don't we, about people who had nothing and how they've become so rich. But my dear viewers of Madani Channel, he was a Muslim. He was a companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was a person who would always be, you know, spending time in the path of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and he would work very, very hard. And he said that Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radhiyallahu taala anhu, he became so rich. He became so rich, my dear viewers of Madani Channel, that he wouldn't turn a stone except that he would find gold beneath it. This is a saying, this is to express how rich he was. That he would, he would turn stones into gold, meaning he was so successful, so rich. But how did he get this? By working, by spending time, by putting his effort in. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, never expect to be successful if you have not faced difficulty. Firstly, true success is being a Muslim, having Iman and acting upon the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, refraining from those things which are sinful. This is true success. And remember that success lies with satisfaction. It does, my dear viewers of Madani Channel. Sometimes a person can have all the wealth in the world, he will never truly be happy. You would think he is successful, he is not. Let's listen to our daily hadith, if inshallah, then we shall hear more on this. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Rise and Shine, no doubt calling towards righteousness is a tremendous form of worship and a means to attain countless good deeds. Inshallah ta'ala in today's daily hadith, we will hear about such an individual whose reward is unimaginable. Sayyidina Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu 
has reported that he heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam say that the Mu'adhinun will have the longest necks on the Day of Judgment. Meaning the Mu'adhinun are those people who call out the Adhan, who call, who invite the people for the Salah. Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddis Dailwi alayhi rahmah states that the long necks here has been used as a metaphor has figuratively been used to illustrate the fact that the Mu'adhinun will have a superior rank and a status on the Day of Judgment. In light of another hadith, it is mentioned that whoever gives adhan for seven years, freedom of hell is recorded for him. And replying to the adhan also has countless blessings and a great blessing to those who hear the adhan being called out and reply to it, they can assure themselves with the intercession of the Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to take heed that when the Mu'azzin says, Hayya ala salah, we leave all our tasks and we head towards the masjid to perform our salah with jama'ah. Ameen bijahin nabil ameen. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah by the grace of Allah Sallu ala al-habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam Do not think my dear viewers that those people who have money that they are successful You know in terms of suicide this is another topic to be speaking about but the majority of people who are committing suicide there are people who have had wealth there are people who have had fame that is not success. Success is being satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Success is having iman. Success is acting upon the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following the sunnahs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear viewers of Madani channel, remember the key to success is strife, is striving, is endeavor. Sadly, that's all for now. Inshallah, we shall be returning tomorrow. Whatever it is, as long as it is permissible, work hard, do dua. Inshallah, you shall gain it. Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah. Even the darkest night will end And the sun will rise and shine And the sun